everyone this is Ivy welcome to my channel what's your poison 888 today I have a new print to show to you it is from Jujube in collaboration with Hello Kitty which is why you see lots of Hello Kitty bows right here so today I am showing you the new Hello Kitty kimono print look at how pretty that is all those pretty pastels, very soft, not in your face. Look at the details. She's in a kimono. The zipper pull, that fan zipper pull. There's even this detail right here with the Jujube Hello Kitty. And the other side, you can see the details, so nice. Look at that. Silver hardware. And this is the hippie, which you can wear either across the body like this or around the waist, low on the waist, whichever way you want, or you could wear it on your back too, that's fine. Um, this is the smaller uh, hip pouch compared to the hipster that is uh, available in other prints. Um, what I'm showing is the hippie, which is what was sent to me for review by Team Jujube, thank you very much. And I want to show you in comparison the two sizes. You can see how the hippie is smaller than the hipster. And then I'll show it to you this way as well. That way you guys can have an idea. And then some other differences is the hardware on it and the strap as you can see right here the hipster comes with the metal buckle hardware the hippie comes with the heavy-duty plastic hardware this is a one and a half inch strap on the hipster this is a one inch strap on the hippie so it's going to make for a lighter bag when you wear it but also it's going to be smaller so you won't be able to pack as much in this bag and that's that would be another reason why it's going to be lighter so maybe you like a smaller bag or your smaller frame you prefer um, a smaller hip bag um, to wear this may be the one for you price point for this is retail forty dollars compared to the price point for the hipster which is seventy dollars of course this has more um, details and uh, into it that you could use so let me go ahead and get into the hippie. This is so nice. Uh, you see this front pocket, this front, I call it a mommy pocket because every bag has a mommy pocket. But it front of it has the zipper. So it's a flat pocket and what you could fit inside, I have packed in here, is a Sakura Swirl. Look at how nice that goes together. Sakura Swirl uh, coin purse. So if you didn't have a coin purse, that's okay. It's a flat pocket. Keep in mind, whatever you put in here, you probably want to like slip the receipt in here real quick or your card um, so that way you have easy access to it. You don't want to fill it up too much because then it doesn't really fit very well and it uh, bulks up. Now inside the mommy pocket I'm opening, you can see I actually have a pouch in here. So if you like packing with pouches, it fits this small set piece. This is Sakura at dusk and it looks really nice with that too. Let me bring back the Sakura Swirl. Both are from the Rose Gold Collection. You can see how they all kind of complement each other. Different shades of purples and pinks. Really nice. So you have two different um, florals right there. Now inside the small set piece I have two the charge card holders right here you can see this is the C punk and I have here um, a custom one this is Tokidoki dreams and you can see how that works with this print as well the Hello Kitty kimono it's really nice so if you didn't want to use the um, small set piece you could always just have the cards directly in the pouch in the mommy section and it fits perfectly see that now inside 
the mommy pocket, we have card slots. And as you can see, I have it filled with cards. There's three card slots and I have it, I can fill it up to three cards each slot. So if you needed to carry nine cards, you could use this section by it without any additional card holders or pouches for your needs. So, and this is very similar to the, um, the hipster, which also has the card slots in that as well. Let's see how that looks on the hipster, same card slots. So now I'm going to move on to the inside, the main compartment. You can see how the zipper curves here. I have it packed pretty full just because I wanted to show you what it can hold, not necessarily that you have to pack that much stuff. So I have this little white pouch. This is the Y pouch, uh, the mini Y pouch from, say, Petite Vienna. She's an Australian retailer, and this is pretty um, foldable, so which is why I can put that in there. And it's squishy since it's wipes, so I'm not afraid of this, um, you know, taking up too much space. Now, if you didn't want to carry the wipes, that's fine too. This is how much room you would have. There's elastic pouch right here and elastic um, pocket right here, not pouch, but I do have it packed with uh, coin purses. So if you like packing with pouches, it actually fits coin purses. So whatever you could fit in a coin purse, you could fit in this pocket. See that? So this is amethyst ice. I'm going to close it up so you can see how that looks together. Amethyst ice. It's a classic print. Also silver hardware and it looks really nice actually with Hello Kitty kimono. So this happens to have like um, first aid needs so whatever you could fit in a coin purse you could put that in there. If you didn't have a coin purse whatever you can fit in here can fit in this pocket directly you don't have to. I also have another coin purse here so if you happen to have like uh, Black Beauty this is from the Onyx collection. Look at how nice that goes. Got like little pops of the blue to go with this print. And so in here, um, like I said, whatever here, although I couldn't zip it all the way up because this is slightly bigger, taller than the coin purse, I can definitely fit it in the uh, pocket without any issues and close it up. It doesn't take up too much space. The other item that you see is the um, Bath and Body Works pocket back. I think a lot of you are very familiar with that. So as you can see, it fits directly in there very nicely. Top part here is a mesh pocket, just like how the, um, the hipster has it. So if you wanted to put additional items in here, you can. Let me open that up. See, it's a matching pale mint mesh. And I have a... Hello Kitty tin of mints, of course. Um, nail clipper, and also a lip gloss. So small items again, because once you fill this up, it's going to take up the room, and so there, it's not going to leave too much space in there. Um, but you could still hold a lot. In the back, we have this padded mesh, and as you can see, there is the Jujube Star. Same as the one that's on the hipster. That's the hipster. And that's the hippie. So in this tech pocket or back pocket, whichever way you want to call it, I have in this particular one, in the hippie, I have two um, medias in there. One is actually this iPhone 6 Plus along with a power bank, a very slim power bank, mind you. So I'll take these out. As you can see, here's my power bank. Here is my 6 Plus iPhone. I think it's upside down. Oops, upside down. So they're very close in size. And they both fit. And yes, that's the whimsical watercolor, which is the actual GGB print. I have a phone cover for this. And they both fit in here, 
just like the phone that I am using currently to record this video. The phone that I use every day is the Google Pixel XL2 and that fits in this pocket as well perfectly and you can see pale mint lining how pretty is that now what's different from this and the hipster is that that same media pocket or back zipper pocket is that in the hipster it has the black felt lining so you can see the black felt whereas the hello kitty um, hippie pouch actually has the mint lining the pale mint lining very pretty though so even though it looks smaller it can actually fit two slim phones or power bank so again here's the seat belt webbing it's not cotton this is seat belt strap material one inch wide adjustable so you have a slider durable plastic here is the buckle just squeeze and it pops open simple as that so this is the hippie and I want to show you some other prints to go with it here is rose colored glass here is pixie dust this is old school GGB right here that would look nice Whimsical watercolor, if you have any of the pieces from the Rose Gold Collection. Here's Snow Queen, which would look really nice together as well, just because it's in that soft uh, color way. I think it would look nice. I know a lot of you are wondering, how about Hello Sanrio Sweets? Here it is. You could see the colors pop more for the Sanrio Sweets compared to the Kimono. And if I open this up, you could see the mint lining is much brighter compared to the Kimono. It's actually brighter, a little deeper. So like I said, the Hello Kitty Kimono, it's a much softer palette, um, very easy on the eyes. So if you like pastels, this is definitely something you want to get. I have more prints to show as far as print pairings. Here is Dream World, Tokidoki Hello Kitty collaboration, Dream World with Hello Kitty Kimono. Here is Perky Toki with the purple lining. See, it's kind of on the dusty side, so I, I like how that looks, the contrast in purples. So, and then if you have something older, maybe you want a custom pouch, but if you have something, this is Toki Perky. This is the original Toki Perky in the teal background. So that looks really nice. And in fact, it has this teal color inside. I'm going to flip that out. compared to if you compare these see how much darker that one is so that would be really nice contrast if you like to pair that and you have something made in this material I know this did not come in um, any B set pieces or anything but I'm sure there are a lot of uh, ladies that were making custom pieces though Continuing on, if you like purples, I have the Space Place. If you like rainbows, here is the Rainbow Stripes. Narwhal Nirvana, which was a really popular and a very limited print. And here is another Hello Kitty Tokidoki collaboration. This one is Rainbow Dreams. That's really cute. Something else in pastel range of colors. This is Toki Pops. It's still got brighter 
um, palette than this one but if you had this this is how it would look together now, this one I like this even though it's a bright colorway it still looks nice especially if you happen to have Lily this is the Lily Unicorno um, that is on the Unikiki 2 the original Unikiki actually has a gray background this one has that nice pretty aqua background there you go something fairly more recent is the Camp Toki you see how that goes that looks really nice too I like that combination maybe you have Iconic too, which is also in the purple family because it has that purple lining kind of like the blue purple lining Again, here is Tokidoki Dreams. That looks nice together too. Hmm. And if you have something a little bit older, here is Animalini. I thought this would look nice, especially since there's some blue with uh, Donatella and the pop of pink. That would look really nice together. Some of the more current numbers here. If you happen to have something in the chromatics line, this is the blush. Look at how pretty the blush and, wow, blush and kimono. Can you imagine that? If you had a, a big blush bag and then you had the kimono accessories, that would look so pretty. Look at that, mix and match. I also have the rose quartz print. Ooh, that looks nice too. If you had any pieces um, from the rose quartz uh, print, that would look really good because it's a pink, but it's the um, it has a lavender tone undertone to it. So these two look really nice together. Look at that. If you didn't have blush and you had rose quartz, this will work really nice. The previous Hello Kitty print. This is Hello Kitty Bakery. You see how these two look together, the lavender is really nice, but this has a hot pink to it, so it'll give you that pop of color if you have these two. And then I also have one more floral color that I could show you, and this one right here is black and blue. It's got pops of like mint on it as well, so look how, oh, I like that. I like that. Look at that. So you got the dark floral and a pastel Hello Kitty print. I really like that. <laughs> I did not expect to. So this is a really good combination. If you tend to like darker um, colors and carry darker colored bags, um, you can have like some uh, lighter color accessories inside your bigger bag that will look really, really nice. So. Ooh, I kind of like it. Oops! Sorry! <laughs> I kind of like how these go together. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this? I don't have enough hands. <laughs> or maybe if I put it here. I kind of like how these go together. Yeah, I don't have enough hands. This is nice. So anyway, that's just to give you an idea. I do apologize for dropping the water bottle, which also happens to look really nice if you happen to have the kimono print in the larger bag and you have this water bottle to go with it because it's got Hello Kitty in the kimono and the fans and the bows it's super cute. Um, this I got from World Market. I don't know if they still have it, but you could check it out. Cost Plus World Market has this. In case you're wondering what some of the other Hello Kitty accessories I have, like this headband bow that's from the Hello Kitty Cafe. If the truck comes around in your neighborhood, they may carry this along with water bottles like these two right here. You know, you could throw that in your bag to go with Hello Kitty 
Look at that, that looks really nice. Hello Kitty kimono, or maybe this thermos from Hello Kitty Cafe. I can actually drive to Irvine and pick it up from there. And that's how I got my stuff. So, but in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video and all the print comparisons, print pairings, and um, tell me what you think. Do you guys like this print? Is this a is this a nice one? Would you get it? And what would you get? Like, um, these are really really cute. I'll put the list of bags that are coming out in this print, so that way you can get an idea of what you want to get on release day, which is currently set at May 14. 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That makes it 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time uh, when it goes live on the GGB website. Uh, you could check out for other retailers on the GGB site. Um, you know, see who else is participating, carrying this particular print. If you're international, there's a different link on the GGB site for you to find out who is carrying it internationally as well. Thank you everyone for watching and making it this far and thank you so much for the support um, you know and and thank you team Jujube for allowing me to work with you again um, this is really great to be part of the Jujube creative crew um, so I am very happy to to do this for everyone um, and again thank you for watching if you like my updates, make sure you turn on that notification bell so that way you get the latest, greatest news from my YouTube channel. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, What's Your Poison 888 It's the same name across all social media platforms, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I am on Facebook too. I have my page up finally. So you can get updates whichever way you feel comfortable with um, that's easiest for you. If you have any requests, make sure you drop a message and let me know um, what else you want to see or if you have any questions you want to ask about, maybe I can help you answer it or get you to the right place. So um, thank you guys for watching and supporting me as always. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.